Hey, so today we're going to talk about the side effects of marketing. So we're going to talk about the good side effects and the challenging side effects because there are both. Let's jump into it. And also before I get through, I'm actually going to go over like, what is that? I have like 10 or 12 things here on my list of things you should consider. But before I do, I want to invite you to the Find Your Leads Challenge. If you have not attended the Find Your Leads Challenge, it's a great place for you to learn how you can become findable, how your leads can find you, and actually where should you go to make sure that they can find you. So it's an incredible live four-day challenge, and you can click the link below wherever you're listening to this or watching this to join the Find Your Leads Challenge. But I also want to share something with you. If you are earning six, seven, or eight figures in your business, and you have a very you know, established business and you're getting sales and you're getting leads and you just want to take it from where you are to really level it up. There is a new offer that I have and it's called the Marketing Matters Mastermind. It's invite only, application only. But if you're the type of person where you're already gaining momentum, you just really want to 10 exit and you are receptive to feedback, you are you love collaborating with other people and getting new ideas that really energizes you, like being in a room talking business just gets you fired up, then I would love for you to send me a message on Instagram and we can have a conversation and see if you're a good fit for the mastermind and I can send you an application. So we have some really incredible women inside this, this mastermind. So, okay, let's jump into the side effects of marketing. Okay, so I wrote down the, the the good things and the challenging things that can come with it. And I've got a list here. So I'm just going to walk you through each of these so you can think about it. So when I say marketing, uh, the definition of marketing or, or is to promote a product or service. So would you agree that marketing is a non-negotiable in your business? Like you you can't not promote your product or service, right? So marketing is the act of promoting your product and service. Now, in the most recent episode, I talked about the four things, the four reasons that your marketing isn't working for you. So it's one of those four reasons that I talked about in the previous episode on why your marketing isn't working. But here's one of the side effects when it does. Um, And it's that people come to you constantly. Like you, you, you may get to a place where you're like, oh my gosh, there's so many people. I, I can't maintain these conversations. One of my clients owns a garage flooring company. And they were like, okay, we have to turn down the spend. Like we are getting too many leads. We we only have so many employees. Like our capacity is limited, literally. So one of the side effects is that like people actually find you all the time. So much so that you have to actually like stop spending or work to hire a team. I had someone, we were actually talking about the mastermind uh, recently. And she said like, I'm just worried about my capacity. Like what if this works so well? And if you're the type of person where you're like, hey, your belief is so so strong in yourself and in your product or service that you're like, hey, there's a chance I have to like change my approach. What a great problem to have. We'll work through that together. That's actually why the mastermind was created. So I want you to know that, first of all, you should be really proud of yourself that you're that confident that just getting more people to find you would lead to this, you know, huge uptick in volume. And, and to be honest, it absolutely can. I invested in coaching myself actually, and ramped up my marketing simultaneously. And it resulted in the very next month, having the opportunity to bring on the best teammate in the world full-time here at the Digital Marketing Academy. So one side effect of marketing is like people actually find you and they find you fast and everything has to change very quickly. You know, there's growing pains with that, but hey, what a great problem to have, right? Um, The second thing that can happen is it might be uncomfortable. Like you might get frustrated because you're learning a new skill and you might experience discomfort. Now there's obviously a pain associated with discomfort. There's also a pain with staying exactly where you are doing what you've always done. Because like, would you agree that like what got you here to exactly where you are will not get you to like the 10X version? Like you could take what you've created and do double the work. And you might get double the result. But if you're going from here to like 10Xing, you would agree that like you can't do what you've done, right? So it might be uncomfortable having to shift your approach and learn something new and fumble. But it's the same reasons why kids who learn to walk have to fall first. And it's the same reason why in order to ride a bike, you have to experience balance and wobbling and falling and getting frustrated and crying and be like, mom, hold me, don't let go. That discomfort is what creates the change. If babies, I mean, babies have to fall to learn how to walk, right? 
you have to learn how to float to learn how to swim. Like all of these things are required and you have to get uncomfortable when you learn something new, right? It's going to be discomforting or discomfortable. Gosh, I am not the best at words. Um, not the most eloquent, but, but what I am is a really good marketer. And I know that when you learn marketing skills, it can be uncomfortable at the beginning. So you might experience that, but in my opinion, you get to choose your pain, your pain of your revenue staying where it is, or the pain of um, discomfort that comes before, like it is a prerequisite of like having you to say, oh no, we got to pause these ads and spend less because it's blowing up. That is a prerequisite is the discomfort. The other side effect, and now this is, this is like a hard one for me, if I'm being honest. In fact, this week in my therapy session with my therapist, Karen, if you listen, I love you. Um, we talked about this and one of the things that has been the hardest for me, and I, it gets, I always get a little emotional when I think about it is, um, when you go somewhere else in your life and your business, you might have to have a new circle the people that you are really close with in the past may or may not be the same people that will join you along this journey when you go. Some people won't want to be around your positivity, your energy, your success, your optimism, your approach to life in just straight up winning will be hard for some people because it will be a mirror and a reflection for them that, that brings to light some insecurities that they may have. But that does not mean that you dim your light. You can be successful in your health. You can be successful financially. You can be successful in your relationships. And all of that will potentially could draw that, that circle. Maybe that you are familiar with may not want to be that same circle. Now, some of those people will, some of them will. Some of those people are going to be your ride or dies. They're going to be cheering for you when you're killing it. They're going to be like, look at you. You look fantastic. And you know what they're going to be? They're going to be so curious. They're going to be so drawn to you and say, hey, how can you help me? What can I learn from you? They're going to be so curious. And some people aren't. Some people won't add, ask a question about you and your business when they're near you because they don't want to hear about it. They don't care. And and that and that, that or people pleaser, for those of you that want everyone to like you, that simply won't be the case. And so that's okay because you can't take everyone with you where you're going, you're going, which is why the circle that you're in matters. And so when you decide like you're going all in on your business, you may, I mean, I did, I paid 50 grand, 50 grand. I remember calling Chase Bank being like, Hey, can you increase my credit limit? And they're like, you don't have the revenue for this, ma'am. And I'm like, well, I will. I see it. And they're like, yeah, well, we don't see the numbers. So I'm like, cool. If I get two credit cards, I just remember being there, like making things happen. I remember being uncomfortable and I remember like paying to put myself in a new circle and it's changed everything for me. It was the scariest thing I did and the best thing I did. And now I am in rooms where daily, da daily from multiple women, I'm in conversations with people just cheering, cheering you on because the people that are doing more than you are never going to look at you and be like, I can't believe you're staying up late and working. I can't believe you're doing a podcast episode every day. They're going to be like, let's freaking go. You got this. And isn't that the type of encouragement and circle you want to be around? Lord have mercy. It is for me. I had a message. One of my clients sent me today and she was just like, I'm so proud of you um, for what you're doing. And I was just like, man, Man, that feels good to have someone say, I see you. I believe in you. You're doing great. Let's go. You're impacting the world. You just, you're shining bright like a diamond. And it is just straight up true that sometimes you are shining too bright. The people don't want to buy sunglasses. They're like, mm -mm, nope, I'm ill. That's in my eye. I'm going over here. And that is okay. And it has been the hardest thing for me. Hardest thing for me. So your circle may change and that's okay because you're going to have a new circle. And I, Hey, if you are like, gosh, I don't have that circle. Like that come join my circle. Let, let's, let's hang out. I will encourage you. I will be your, your positive light. Um, I'm like an eternal optimist. Sometimes that's bad. Okay. Sometimes like, Hey, you have to think about the risks of this. I'm like, Nope, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Now here's another thing. One person can make a huge difference in your life. My therapist has made a huge difference in my life. 
I have a few friends, huge different. I have my coaches that I paid big money to be around, changed my life, worth every penny. And one person can make a big difference. So if you don't have that person, you need that person. And if you don't know a person, I'd love to be that person for you. But yeah, I could go on and on about that because for my personality type, that's the hardest thing is when I want people to care more than they do about me. Because isn't curiosity one of the best forms of care? Doesn't it feel so good when someone's like, tell me more. And the thing is, is you can't pour from an empty cup. And so like when your cup is super duper full and you're feeling real fulfilled and you can't wait to wake up every day to do what you get to do, like that's how I feel. Um, with, with, if someone's not in that place, they can't offer that to you. They can't offer curiosity. They don't care. They're so wrapped up in where they are with themselves. They can't offer that to you. They don't want to see it. So that's okay. It's okay. It's, it's, it can be challenging, but you can still love those people. You can still care about those people. You can still be encouraging to those people. Now, the only thing I will tell you not to do is because I've done it is you can't like be the only one initiating those friendships and the only one pouring in and like it's you, you, you going after them, them, them. At a certain point, you just got to call call a spade a spade and be like, love y'all. You need me. I'm here. I can't wait to chat more long-term. Um, but you've got a new circle, you know? Um, so that's one of the side effects of marketing. You get, you get things change, your business grows, you, and, and you might have to say goodbye to old circles and say hello to new ones, but gosh, the new ones can be the most special friendships and relationships that you cannot fathom. All right. The, um, other side effect is you're just straight up happier. You're stoked. You wake up eager in your business. You don't wake up frustrated anymore. Side effect is you're, you're just uber duper happy. And someone's like, if you had coffee today, and I'm like, no, I'm just high on life. Like that's a possibility, a side effect of marketing. Cause you look down and you see those sales and you're like, this is awesome. I'm getting to help people. And this is fun. Like business can be fun. Right? So that's a side effect. New friends is a positive side effect. Another side effect of like really good marketing is referrals. It's actually like having good marketing and delivering a good product or service that makes you so referable. A side effect is just more people find you because more people can't stop talking about the good that you've done for them and their business. So that's a really cool thing too, is all these things start to pile up. Like you get in these new friend circles and they're like, oh, Ashley's the person or oh, Susie's the person or oh, Vicky's the person or oh, Julia's the person for that. Like you get in these circles and like, even just paying to be in a circle, you get referrals that way because they get to meet you and they're like, hey, she's awesome. She can help you with this. And so uh, one side effect is you just get way more referrals than you ever have before. You're like referral sources re-energized when you have marketing skills and your marketing is going well. It's really effective. And, and when I say really effective, what I really mean is that you create a marketing machine. By definition, a, ma a machine is, um, let's look it up together. Machine. A machine has several parts, each with a definite function that work together performing a particular task. That is a machine. A marketing machine would be marketing is the is the act of promoting a product or service. So marketing machine would be a product or service, like having that and having a machine and applying power where several parts are working together with a definite function to perform a particular task. That particular task is getting in front of the right people that you created your business for. And so in my business, what I have created is a marketing machine. Now you may have dabbled in marketing completely different than having a well-oiled marketing machine, because here's the cool thing about machines, a machine, let's say a washing machine or a dishwashing machine. You click go, you click on, that thing works. You don't have to be in the room. You don't have to monitor it. You don't have to watch it. The machine goes, it knows how to work. Everything has a function. You walk back in and look, there's your clothes. They're clean. Same thing. Look, there's your leads. There's, there, there, there's your clients. That's what a marketing machine can do. And now people might've looked back a hundred years ago and be like, there's no way there's a machine that could actually wash and dry your clothes. Shoot, uh, 10 years ago, I don't think people thought that there was a robot that would go and vacuum and mop your floors for you, but here we are. Hello, Roomba. You can have a marketing machine. It's not too far-fetched. It's just some pieces working together the right way so people can find you. Yeah, it's possible. And that's why I teach people like you, how to create is a marketing machine, not just do a little marketing. No, 
We're here for the machine, baby. All right. So referrals are a side effect of having a good marketing machine. The other thing that's a side effect is credibility. People buy emotionally and they justify logically when there is credibility. And when you are marketing your business, sometimes people could see that and be like, dang, she's doing so well. She's investing in market. She's got the money to spend in marketing. That's awesome. That's credible. They go look at their stuff and they're like, dang, this business is legit. Marketing can add credibility because when you get in front of more of the right people, more of the right people buy, they love what you do. Today, yesterday, yesterday, oh, oh my God. My client Heidi, who owns Circle A Dumpsters in Athens, Georgia, had someone click on her Google ad and they want multiple dumpsters for two months. It's over a six figures in revenue if I did the math she told me yesterday correctly. I'm sorry. Six figures in revenue from a single Google ad click? Yes, that's possible. That's a thing. Could you imagine paying $3 per click and then getting a hundred thousand something dollar sale? I can. I mean, Heidi can. And you can too. Create the right offer, communicate it the right way, and people are searching for you. That person typed in dumpster rentals, stay them, stay them, Georgia. And guess what they found? Circle A dumpsters. Because Heidi's not just great at running a dumpster company, she's great at marketing what she does. Okay. So uh, that credibility piece can be really huge. The other thing that happens when you have really effective marketing is you get more sales. And as a result, when you sell more, you're more sold. The more you sell, the more sold you are. My coach said that to me. Macy said that. And I was like, that is the truest thing I've ever seen. The more I sell, the more results my clients get, the more sold I am that if you are a business owner and you don't have marketing skills, you are missing out on revenue 100%. And so I'm so sold. And guess what people like to buy from? Certain people, some people are like, listen, Ashley, you were killing me. And those voice messages, you're just so convinced this will work. No, no, no. I'm certain, convinced and certain, two different words. I am certain that with the right marketing strategy, the right people can find you and everything can change. I really am. And so the more you sell, the more you're sold. So that's a side effect is you just get more sold on what you do. Number six is you see, op or I'm at like number eight. God, I have so many. I keep making up ones as we go because I'm like, man, this is another thing. Uh, the other thing is you get speaking engagements. I know this is so random, but like some people may see you as an authority and say, hey, by the way, would you come speak to my group about this topic? How did you do that? And so that's one side effect of marketing. I actually was able to meet Stormy, Stormy Banks um, through a Google ad that I had. She found me. She was like, Hey, a marketing expert in Atlanta. She seems great. We had a great conversation. I got to come speak to her, her, um, her community. It was incredible. What a great side effect. Other side effect is I met someone who's actually going to come speak at the marketing Matters summit in January of 2025, met a new friend. She's fantastic. And she's a speaker and she came to the event. She actually, um, partnered with me from an affiliate level. Like she shared about the event to her people, which was really cool. And then she showed up. So I got a, I got an affiliate partner, someone advocating for, for learning marketing skills and a new friend. And I actually got to do a podcast episode with her. Ooh, it's so good. If you haven't heard about the event that I did and all that went into that and how wild that was, it, go to the It's Nebo Negotiable, Lord, the It's Negotiable podcast. I'll link to it below this video um, as well. And just search It's Negotiable Co podcast with Ashley Brock and you'll be able to... Um, You'll be able to listen to it. Absolutely incredible. It's on YouTube too. But anyway, side effect, I met Ernestine. Ernestine Morrison, great, great woman. And that was just a side effect of me running running ads as we met. Let's see, what's another side effect of, let's see, guests, yeah, guest features, podcasts, interviews, and even something else that's come from my own marketing is other people asking me to speak to their mastermind, to their community, to their group virtually, even on a Zoom. Can you train my team on this? Absolutely. Can you do a virtual workshop? Mm-hmm. Another thing, side effect. Like you think you're running ads for, I thought I was running ads to a Marketing Matters Summit. Okay. I was running ads for new friendships, for speaking engagements, for workshop engagements, affiliate partners. I didn't even know it. Didn't even know it. And... That's one of the side effects of marketing, which is so cool. The other thing is um, one of the side effects of marketing and having marketing skills is uh, you actually get better at marketing. 
And one of the side effects of getting better at marketing is you might actually have fun with it and be like, dang, marketing is fun. This is a fun job. You might actually say, man, this whole time I thought I was wearing too many hats and marketing was overwhelming. So I didn't touch it with a you know seven inch stick. And now you can't wait to like go, go analyze and make quick decisions. Cause that's what it, that's what you really get when you have marketing skills is the ability to see something and know exactly what to do next. Ooh, this is working. Ooh, this isn't, this is terrible. Oh, here's exactly how I should pivot this because it isn't working. Like it's so empowering to know what not to do, to know what to do. Right. And then know what your next move is with your marketing. You don't just launch something and wonder you're like, Ooh, this is what I'm going to do next. That is so empowering. The other side effect of marketing is sometimes you get to exchange services. So I, from my ads, met an interior designer and her name is Jess, Jessica Miles. She helped me redo my entire living room. It looks stunning. And she and I were able to just exchange services in a way from meeting together through my ads from the summit. So again, new friendship and the new partnership. So another perk, another side effect of marketing skills. Another side effect is money. So I really believe that it's really important for women to be wealthy. There's this um, CEO and founder, and she says, nothing bad happens when women build wealth. And I really believe that. And one of the things that I love about um, building wealth is there is um, my coach, like kind of told this story. And basically what she was saying is, you know, your kids need you less as you get older or do they? If mom has a track record that she's wise, not just because of what she thinks, but because of what she's done, when my sons are going to start their own business or my sons are going into a job interview or when my sons are pivoting or when my sons are taking a risk, they're going to be able to look back and say, you know what, who I need to call mom. Mom will give me the pep, pep talk I need. She will encourage me and she will speak not from hypotheticals, she will actually speak from experience because she's done this and I trust her and she's done scary things. And I trust my mom and she's wise. So I'm going to, I'm going to call mom when I'm 20, 30, 40, 50. That's what I want. Now, if you have kids, that may be something you desire too, is, is for your kids to actually need you even more when you're an adult. And I, that's something, or when they're an adult and that's something I so look forward to. And so me, doing like walking the walk and talking the talk together and having results to show for it will give me new opportunities and ways that I can support my kids and encourage my kids as they get older. So I think that's really cool. The other thing is like your brain changes. So I actually looked this up when you learn a new skill, uh, your, your brain chemistry changes. It says the white matter in your brain is called myelin and it helps improve performance on a number of tasks. The more people practice a new skill they are learning, the more dense the myelin in their brain becomes, which helps them learn even better. Um, And it actually goes into talking about like the benefits of your brain changing and happiness, less depression, less anxiety, mood changes from learning a new skill because it's exciting. It's exciting. Think about when you first learned how to swim. You're like, this is fun. I want to go to pools. Same thing with marketing. It can be really fun as you begin to learn a new skill. So that's a side effect is your brain changes. Pretty cool, right? We already talked about growing too fast. So yeah, I mean, those are just the first things I've I've thought about as what are the side effects of marketing. Some are there's discomfort. Some are it requires change. And I believe that discomfort is the very reason you should do the thing that you're considering doing or learning marketing skills because you can't change if you're not challenged. So learning marketing skills might feel like a challenge, but... It could also be really fun and it's easier than you think. So if you're interested in learning marketing skills so that you can become findable and you don't have to chase people down and you don't have to have anxiety every day about what are you going to post so people see you, then I would love to invite you to the end your leads challenge. So you can click the link below this podcast or video and go to ashleybrock.com slash find your leads and register for the next one. Or If you're a six, seven, or eight figure business owner, you're already getting great revenue and you really want to scale and be a part of a mastermind. I'd love for you to to apply to the Marketing Matters Mastermind, which you can also do below this video, or just send me a, a message on Instagram and we can chat and see if it's a good fit. All right, go market your business. I believe in you. We will chat soon.